Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you that you're with us today and that you will teach us your word and you empower us through your spirit. We want to honor you. We want to give you all the glory. There is no any other king than you. And prepare our hearts to receive from you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 amen, amen. All right. For the sake of recording, uh, uh, I'm speaking in English. So Angel will translate, I think. So. As Bangi record, we are talking about us on that way. Now, as we stand here, we are talking. But I would rather preach in Chichewa since I'm also a Malawian. But. Ndaga na ngo nda udaga na lali na Chichewa shpodi na uto di Malawi. Yeah, but my humble duty this morning has been given a topic, uh, which I will share with you. Lelo, alisi ndi. So the topic is about how to prepare for a preaching. As we are going towards the end of our course, it's very important to tackle this topic. So what I'll do today, it's a, a demonstration on how to do it. So today I'm going to do uh, the preaching. I will do one preaching with you. And then I'll do so, uh, but before I start the preaching, I would like to give you the main thing that you have to observe when you're preparing. So the first thing as every other good preacher is that you find a topic. That, that means you, you pray, you ask God, and you say, what will be the topic that I need to share the, uh, this coming weekend or this Sunday or this meeting? And then you choose a passage, so you read the passage in its context. So you know your topic, but you read the, the, the passage in its context so that you understand more that more. So and uh, you do the observation and ask some questions. To that person. Why is it said like this? And what happened? And when was that? And after doing a proper observation, you come to the interpretation. So interpretation is building on the good observation. Uh, so you start with what did it mean to them? And then you the first hearers, the first audience to receive that passage or that message. 
uthenga umabita kugulu lina lake ndeni ndiyo mamba kuganiza kuti kuti gululo limamva bwanji limaula ndira bwanji uthenga umenewe this helps us to avoid two errors in interpretation izi zimathandizira kuti mupewe kulakwitsa we have two errors of interpretation Bali ma mistake kapena zola kwika ziwili zomwe zimachitika nthawe yoda nthauzira mawa mulungu Number 1 is misinterpretation Chola kwika choyamba ndi kutanthauzira mola kwika Ah misinterpretation happens when you don't understand the context of the story or even the history and the culture Ati misinterpretation kamena utantha uzira mola kuika kumachitika inyo mga kodisi muna vetete tuntu landi me yomwe mawele ngayo. And uh, if you don't understand also the history and the, the culture around that passage. Komaso kusa veteta kwa mbili komaso chikali dweja antu amena malali jidu wapantawi meneo. So misinterpretation it means you miss the mark you miss the important thing you know? And then that's the first error that we need to avoid And the second mistake or error is uh, over interpretation Ndiye no mistake ya chwili kapena kula kuitsa kwa chwili ndi kuonjezera. So you put too much or more than what the passage is saying. Kuonjezera zina zomwe passage kapena ndi meyo ikunena. So that is over interpretation. You just put your own ideas. You don't care whether it fits or not. Mukonjezera monselu zanu ndi zinthu zina zomwe ndi meyo sina nene. Uh, this normally happens when uh, you just want to back up your point, just to, to bring conclusion to what you believe on it. And but the danger is that you make people to believe what is not the truth and what the author did not intend. So we need to be very, very careful when we have to interpret uh, interpret the, the and then the next step is the application. no. So this application first is for you. How can I apply as a preacher? So if you know how to apply it today and in your situation, then you have the authority to go and preach it. And preach it. So that's the steps. So because uh, we normally preach uh, uh, some topics in Malawi is common, we choose a topic and preach, I want to demonstrate now. So that's what I want to demonstrate now, because this is the theory that you need to have the steps, but now I need to demonstrate it. So this is the first 
Aguti ba masebe adado mwe abeleka wabali funso gabena abidilize. Adi mkoza abidilize. All right. So, okay. So, um, we will move on. Sorry, my my screen has jumped. We will move on to our example. So uh, I, I give a topic of my preaching. Uh, it's the journey. My title is the journey. Ndea huji, chisanzo, alindi ulari, kiochedwa ulendo. Kabena huji, ulendo, chitelu. So I am taking my topic from the lesson uh in the book of Philippians from Paul. Ndea kuti topic yao hi aitenga kuchokela mbuku la Philippi 3 verse 12. Kuchokela kwa Paulo, olemba Paulo. So when you are choosing the topic you have to make sure that it has to be from the story, okay? That you are preaching. When you're choosing a topic, you have to make sure, would you? It's coming from the passage that you, you, you are reading, your, your passage. Ndea, would you? Tikama sanka topic ya, tukabena mudu wa ulaligi watu. Tizone, tesa, udi mudu o ushoge la pandime ya mbaibulo. So, uh, in Philippians, it say, uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 12 to 14, it said, not that I have already obtained this, or I am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Jesus Christ. Will somebody read in Chichewa, maybe, after translation. Amen. Amen. So um, you can see that uh, the topic is fitting from this passage because Paul, he said, forgetting what is behind and he's going towards the goal. So it shows that it's a journey. Somebody is moving from one place to another. Is this one is a good endo? So that's why I entitled my message, The Journey. 
ichi ndi chifukwa chake mutu wa ulaliki wao apeleka kuti ulendo kapena ulendo wanga but first of all we need to understand the context as i said that you need to to ask some questions why is paul writing like this and to whom kwa mano mena nenera kuti kufunika kuti tifuse mafunso kuti kodi paulo akunenera njizi kuti kodi amamuza ndani zinthu zimenezi you know this letter to the philippians was written to philippi which was a colony of the romani ndea kuti kana ta imeneyi kupita kwa filipi imapita kwa anthu amene wamena makhala ku filipo uh, umeno naisha benzinda wa ungono nditu ntawi imeneyi this uh, colony of the roman empire was full of retired soldier and people who were working for the empire for the roman empire Mzinda wa ngono umabezeka kwa Roma ndipo kunaliso uh, asirikali ndi zina za mbili So they were living in a Philippi but their citizenship was in Rome Ndiye no anthu amakhala ku Filipi komano iwo anali anthu wa Roma So all the people this the 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 people who are working for the government the soldiers the retired they were living in this uh, uh, city like in this place called philippi the government could allocate them there mwina dinene kuti ka ma soldier and anthu also gwira ntiro zabo mama kala kumene ku filipo it's like when you come to malawi if you go to lilongwe you're going to see area 12 and the other area they are they are houses for ministers and government workers they they, they have a special allocation ukakhala kwathu uno ku Malawi tudzo kuti kulilongwe tili ndi malo amene kumapezeka ma office wonse aboma ndechi modzi modzi na onso nthawi yaoyi ku Filipo ngumene kunalinga tilikulu la anzinda wa Chilomao so when paul first went to preach in this uh, legion he first uh, persecution and the resistance ndiye no paulo atapita koyamba ku ku filipo ku anakumana ndi zipinjo za mbili anakumana ndi mavuto ochuluka so if you want to read the story you can go to acts chapter number 16 you're going to hear the the story how he first came to philippi ndiye no ngati mufuna mudziwo kuti kodi yeyu ulendo wake oyamba kwa Filipi unalo odani mupite ku machitidwe chapter 16 kumene kundi kumene mukapeze za mbili ya Paulo kuti kodi ulendo wake oyamba kupita kumene ku kwa Filipo unalo odani but still more although he first resistance he succeeded started a small church ndiye no ngakhale kuti ana kumana ndi zipinjo mikwingwiri mayochi yochuluka sana siye sana kwempwa iya yanakhazikitsa mpingo wake oyamba kumeneko so now he is writing this letter because the 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 philip the the, peop, the church from philippi has sent him a gift through epaphroditus ndiye no iyeyu analemba galata ichifwa choti mpingo wa filipo unatumiza mphatso kuntumizira paulo kudzera mwa munthu amene yochedwa epaphroditus epaphroditus so now he's writing this letter he will bring it to to the to the philippians so that's the context ndi paulo anakhala pansi ngulemba kala ata kumpatsira munthu amene i kuti no akawapatsire anthu amene wawa so you can see he faced the resistance he, he faced the trouble so now you can see the tone of the letter ndiye no mutakuona kuti a munthu uyidi anakumana ndi zovuta mikwingwiri mayochuluka zimene zithu kutha kuziona kudzera mumene kala ta ikumvekera that's why he is saying that uh, he doesn't think that he has reached it he is not yet there he is still growing he is still moving on in his journey nchifake kuti kuona ndithu mumene anawelengera kuti no iye akunena kuti ai suti ndafikapo iye ai koma ule ndou ukanalipo so but what helps me i forget what what happens in the past komano zwene zima ndithandizira ine ndikuiwala zomwe ndadutsamo zagale zonse ndi maziwala i forget the pain i forget the suffering i forget the torture that 
have, I might have experienced. Dimai wala ulu ulu mazunzo ndi zonse zoiba zomwe na na dutana nazo. But I focus on what lay ahead. What can I achieve? What can I do? I press on towards the goal for the, the price of the upward call in God in Christ. So here you can start preaching like you see there are many people who are trapped today by their past. So people cannot progress if they are holding garages or the mistakes that other people has done to them in the past. So for Paul, the key was forgetting the past. So forgetting what lies behind, that's principle number one, if you want to grow. So whatever abuse, whatever Problems that people have done in your life, forget it. And uh, that's the, the principle. Don't be held back by the past, but learn from it. You have to learn some lesson from the past. And you have to learn some valuable lessons from the past. Why did God, why did you go through that situation? The advantage is that God has given us uh, to live our lives in days, weeks, months and years not to make an eternal mistakes so because we are so god has done this so that we should not make an eternal mistakes so if you live your lives in days, in weeks and months and year, it helps you. When you make a mistake today, tomorrow you still have a chance to start again. So the problem of last week is it's an opportunity for this week. Dieno nena kuti vuto lomwe tina kumana nalo sabada yatha. Vuto lo the problem that we faced last month is a lesson for this month to do better. The, prob the, the problems of last year is an opportunity for this year to do well. The the problems we are facing this year is an opportunity to do well in 2023. So I can quote from Isaiah, which says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now is springing up. Do you not perceive it? Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. 
Isaiah 43, verse 18, mpaka na 19. Isaiah 43, verse 18, mpaka na 19. Na ugamba za huiwala, zonse, za gale, daunani, mbukulenga sozina, za tobano. Tisa kazigige ya iba zome dalu tamu gale. So you can see that Paul had maybe Isaiah in his mind when he said that he forget the past and he focus on the future. So God is in the business of creating or making things new. So uh, no matter what we have gone through in your past, God can create a new future for you. So you have to see it with the eyes of faith. That's why I say, do you not perceive it? So that I made a mistake, yes, but it was not an eternal mistake. I can start now. God is making your thing. Okay. So uh, one principle I want to show you is that our past helps us to point to our future direction. So that's point number one in summary for this passage. Number two, our past hold clues of what to do in our life. Come again. Our past hold some keys or clues of what to do in our life. Ndiye no, fundo ya chuwili ndia kuti zonse zagale, zima titandizila kuti no duone kuti sogolo latu likale lodani. It helps us what we need to do today, what we need to change today. Zima titandizila kutile loli, tipange zintu zatu mosiana, mota nindi mineti mapangila gale. Okay, you can see all my points, my preaching, they're coming from that passage. I just give evidence to it. Ndeno, tita ditu one nga kaya fundo ya chwili hii. Zonse zwena kunena, zacho gila pa, ndi ime ija na wele nga ija. Nde wango bele kashabe ma evidence, kabena uti zosa jila zake. Okay. So, what about the phrase? It says, training forward for what lies ahead. Ndiye no, agwana no nunso ina, mfundo ina, yunga kunena kuti, training forward for what lies ahead. Kabena kuti, ukala jindunji, ndi zome zili kutogolo. Ndi me imene, maga maga uh, sentence imene, chigani zoji, chukudan tauzajan. So, uh, in other words, Paul is looking at the present, looking at what we have now, okay? So he is talking about forgetting the past and then he's coming to the present looking at what we have now. So because he says straining forward to, to, to what lies ahead. That means from where you are going forward. What do you have? Kukachindunji, kukachindunji, ndi zome zili kutogolo, izi kutanta uzaguti, tiambile panobo, pomo enyondi inetili leloli, kuyanga na chitogolo. You have forgotten the past, but what do you have now that can help you for the future? Inde kalelo, tali wala, saka leta zi wala, omano lelo. Mulindichani, chomwe chinga kutandizile, nguti mufige chitogolo. So, in this principle, you analyze your life purpose. Why do you exist? Ndiye no, pa mfundo imene hii, mfundo hii, ikoza kukuta ndizila ni kutiko di muone, cholinga, cha moyo wanu, kwa di mulindi moyo, chifuwa jajani. In the book of Proverbs, it says, many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Ati uh, mbukula 
Proverbs, Kabena Gudi. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miambo 19. Piambila verse 21, Miambo. Aguti, ma plan ya tu ndambili, feunga di antu. Mm -hmm. Mia, uh, miambo 19, verse 21. Kwa mano, ndi cholinga jokajo shamulungu. Chomwe chiza kwa nilitsidwe. Kabena chomwe chichi chinga chitike. Miambo 19, verse 21. Kabena ina duwele ngeri. Miambo 19, verse 21. Amen. Amen. So you can see that in our in our hearts, we can have so many plans, but it's only God's purpose that will prevail and stand. So if you're wise, if you're to succeed tomorrow, you have to discover God's purpose for your life today. Why do you exist? Why, why were you created? So that's what we mean by looking at now. What do you have now? What plans do you have now? So the principle be uh, consult God for his purpose above your planning for this year or the coming year, 2023. Yeah, no, easy. So don't just make plans without God. So I can give an example from the story of Gideon. From the book of just, just chapter number 6, verse number 12. We're not going to read. He didn't think that he is worth anything in his life. He was coming from a poor family, things they were not going okay. Gideon, Amatianga, Nirabans, Samadain, and Dinimpawi, Banjala, Watu, Sidolo Zega. And uh, what he was just doing was hiding from the Midianites, and he, did, he didn't have that confidence for the future. But he had an encounter with God. God told him, You are a mighty man of valor. And he. So through understanding God's plan and purpose for his life, he became the judge. So we, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. Second Corinthians chapter number four, verse seven. Two Corinthians four, verse seven. Two Corinthians four, verse seven. But we have these treasures in jars of clay. Ifeo, tilinazo sante nguwa badali mu jars of clay. Kabena uti mbi, mbi ya zadoti. Ena ngodwele ngila pa second. Tua golinto 4 verse 7. Tua golinto 4 verse 7.
Amen. Amen. So you can see that we can look weak from outside. We can look incapable, but God has put treasure inside us. So that's what uh, Gideon was experiencing. He was feeling weak coming from a poor family, but God said, you're a great man. So that's what it means. All these points, they are backing on looking at what do you have now? The potential, the abilities that you have now. And the Bible says, Because what you are today will help you tomorrow. If you want to change the future, the secret is to change your today. So now I'm coming to the last phrase. Uh, press on for the upward call. Press on for the upward call. So you can see I'm just playing with the words that Paul used on that passage. I'm just trying to preach it, to teach it to the people that people can take away. So what do we learn? He's focusing on the future. He's looking at the goal. He's looking where he's going. So you have to know that there is no secret in God. God knows, God knows everything. He knows everything. For example, from Psalms 139, verse number 16. It says, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book, we are written every one of them the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Masalimo 139, verse 16. Masalimo 139, verse 16. Amen. Amen. So you can see that God has seen our lives before we were born, and he planned each and every day of our life, and they already planned. So our future is God's past. That's a secret. Because he knows already what lays ahead of us. He knows what is coming in 2023. In so he will not going to be surprised what will happen to you in 2023 or beyond. So he will not to be surprised so when you are looking into the future, be confident because God knows each and every day of your life. So you don't have to panic about it. 
but you need to face the future with confidence, knowing that God has already ordained the days. Our focus should be to save God's purpose. You do it every day and until you go into the future. So, for example, in the uh, book of Acts, chapter number 13, verse 36, it talks about David, that David, after he had saved the purpose of God in his own generation, he fell asleep or he died. Majitanzo, moyo wange wa David, mene Bible lugu nenera mu machiti dwe 13 verse 36, kuti David, dada wanili sasholinga jake, adan tumigila mulungu, paziko bano, iye anagona tulo. So you can see that although David went through hard times, difficulties, but it's recorded that he saved God's purpose in his generation. So what will people say about you? Will they be able to say that you saved the purposes of God in your generation or not? Okay, so what is God's purpose? So, uh, God's purpose, we can find it, is that God wants to build his kingdom on earth in human hearts. That's God's will is done in our lives. So uh, God wants to build his kingdom in our decisions. In our family, <laughs> to be sought and lied. So that's God's purpose. You remember the Lord's Prayer? Our, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So looking into the future, it's about knowing the purposes of God. So we want to learn a lesson from a car. So lesson from a car. So you're going to see that it has a small mirror to look back, but has a big window in front so that we can look ahead. Mm-hmm. So that's the lesson we can take that God has designed our life that we should focus more into the future, not looking backwards. 
ndea baba livumbu so lali kulu kapena pfunzilo lali kulu kutipo di mulungu sholinga chake nishoti ifeo tilunjike shani chitsogolo tika magamba za kumbu yogu tizingo kajabe vangono ku kajabe kuma ifeo focus ya tuikale kuyanga na chitsogolo you you use the small millers uh, to look into the past to learn some lessons, valuable lessons so that you can focus in. Mila, ngono, ngono, ali mbali, mbali, mucholi nga shagi nchoti. Tizingu ya nga napa ngono, tu wati nda punzila bojani, nda punda joga badi, nda punzila bojani, ndi kujogi la ugali langa. But the deal is in your future. The goal is in your future. Ngani, kapena choli nga jeni jeni, ndi togolo latu. Because you are looking for that upward call when God will say, Well done, my faithful servant. And okay, so now application. Kuni nanga ndi me menei, tingai gwini senchido modani, kabena kuti application. So do not be held back by your past. That's uh, uh, the, the big takeaway. What Choyamba, Choyamba, Musa Kazikike, Mugale Lanu. Number two, pray and ask God to find out your life purpose. Why were you born and what should we be doing now? Pempera, Nidukum for Samulung, Utvadi, Chifajani. And then live a life of hope because you know that your future is secured. God has already written every day of your life in his book. And last three, get involved with life, not passive. Don't just wait. Chomaliza, inuyo musango kala mwe odi osa ziwa zimene zugu jidigila ni gao banda ndi jidwi mko mwezo kuzana ndi mwe wanu. Kwa makala ndi tutenga nipo ni gao mwe wanu wa siku ndi siku. There are many people who have given up in life, they're just waiting for the day to die. Don't live like that. Anada ya ndima mwe umu. Ama ngodaba, sango nigila siku loda mwalile, kabena zikida humamu. They don't fight for things. They don't fight for what belongs to them. They just give up and just wait. That's... The mistake has happened and that's it. They're defined by their mistake. Don't live like that. All right. So that's my preaching. May God bless, bless the preaching. Of his word. Ndea kuti umeneu ndo ulaliki wawo ambuye adalite ulaliki la umeneu. Amen. Amen. So is there any question? Have you seen how I framed my preaching? Kodi palifunso. Tao na mene au bangila ulaliki wawo ama lizilatu nda application. application. <laughs> Okay, application, it's about what can you do with the preaching, the takeaway. application so, so you make sure that in every preaching that you're making, there should be something that people can do. 
uh, choli nga cha application ncha kuti mula liki wanu ino luonse muzone sasa kuti mwaika mwanchito ina kioti kwa di mwanchito waka bita kwao waka kwisa nchito kwa njula liku meneo so you can see what I did with that passage of Paul I added some scriptures that people can can use it as homework for example, the story of Gideon, he was not held back by his past, you know. So that's Gideon You can you, you can you can see the story of, of David. He was not held on by the past at all. I was not, I was rejected. People saw so want to kill me. David. David naye so sana kazige mungali lage. So this, these are things that can help the people to apply that I don't have to be held back, held back by my past. Nde mfundo zi, ziko za kwa tandizira antu. Nangasita hau zaoda samone zaga, ndetu kwenye kwa dabasi sisanzo, kuti abange buanji, kuda samango kazige mungali lao. Jira yake, ndi yomwe ya pereka ababai. Mapo inti yake nda amene wawa. So they need they need to pray and ask God because God knows their future. So they need to engage with God, you know. You see, David, uh, David and, the, and 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 the Gideon, they had that encounter with God that transformed their life to become who they yeah. So we can do the same today and live the life of hope. So they were involved with life. They get involved with their life. They were not passive. And then to answer Gideon, indeed, David, Sudaman Kukala, yeah, I'm a Shida Bogan to Sana give a year in the Kodana Lawisa, Zundina says Nende, we know Masana Kaziki Vansi, I am a Vidin Zabim, we all Jamadenga Bogau. I didn't say, ah, uh, because God said He's with us, he's, He has blessed us, we'll just sit and wait for the blessing of God. Uma so sana ngone na uta aboti mungwa ni na uto ati dali sali na fe ne uti ba zingo njoo ya umango sanga la landi ma dali swagi wa basungo kazi giga. They were involved in life. They went to fight the enemies. They take territories and yeah, they were active. Iwo wa na le ma chita chita. Ma bi da gungondo. Hmm. Kudenga boga ndi tumwa wa tukundi si. Yeah. Thank you. Any question? Parifusolina. Adi parifusolina. How da is that chapter forty three? Adi we amba ba verse eighteen. Ni kulege sa nineteen. Ni wa gona kuti pali zintuzi na kutsongolo wake ego. Ndio uti zesia ni mene. Adi Isaiah eighteen verse nineteen. Adi zisa na chiti ge isa wona kuti ba lisuntu zina zake zomwe zina chipa zomwe zina chiti kabantawi mene. Yeah, uh, that's that's good observation. But the point here was, uh, uh, it was not my main. It was not my main preaching. It was just to to take that as, as a backing point to the main preaching that I had from Philippians. I would in the zone and they took the banana. She did get this into. Come on, no, you are only now to the league. You are all gonna go a Philip. Then the man who is Zayi, Imango Kanga, the uh, Igungo Nje, the Rajabe Pamfundo, Zoma na Berega, the Jogjogila go a Philip. Because otherwise you need to be, you have to avoid getting sidetracked. Because if you have to go to the history of every, of every passage that you have to do, it will become complicated. You will confuse people. Yeah, no, kuti mugadino mukazigike ba kudamba sula pase jiri yose. Ziko zano kwa sogone za antuji kwa yodi pase jiri yose makaso ni nkani yose yana. Ndodi pase jau la ligwa the journey. Aganabe sega kuti no, aganamba so ulongo sura zagwa ezaya, 
zigana tira wina and twagana so gonegera so what what you what you are focusing is not to confuse the people but give them simple takeaways that they can remember and it's only gajan so we didn't do in kwaso goneza and wa mungu wafuna mwabase zindu za simple zodi akoza kuzive tseta kwa maso ugazi gwili sanchido mosa vuda and then when they go and read this scripture they can learn more as as you have just observed that they are more than what i've just said ndia kuti pali zambiri ndi tuzochulunga kuposera so zimene wane nazi ndia kuti mwaba sandu ma scripture ajabaoka akoza ubita kunyumba ndu kafufuza so baoka ndu kuwelenga kuvetsetsa winolomo so that's that's the goal because you only give as a pastor you only give 10% then still need to go to to dig more kadi anthu akweneka adziwe kuti ndiyo ngati mbusa mmango bereka 10% tichabe mpaoka kweneka kuti apite so akawelenge okha bible kuti avetsetse mwino lomwe because you give them what what you learn and your inspiration you are not giving them everything akuti ndiyo makhanga ati mugwa uza mavumbulo tsamene muli nawo mfundo zomwe muli nazo inspiration yomwe muli nayo koma zina zo ndama kafufuza so baoka Uh, for example i did not give you everything about the, the letter of, of of philippians i just give you something out of my study you know yeah. and i hope it makes sense